Hello friends, welcome again to my channel. My name is Mahendra Khairanar, Asahan Professor at Bharti Vidya Pitch Yashwantrava Chavan Law College, Karada. Today, we are going to see the important topic, the making of the constitution. There are many videos on this topic, but very short, providing very less information. Hence, in this video, I am going to present on making of the constitution. Here, we are going to see the historical development draft of the constitution, structure of the constitution, influence of other constitution on Indian constitution. This video is made in order to aware every citizen, common man about the history and relentless efforts taken by our freedom fighters and the framers of the constitution. This will also help to sensitize towards importance of the constitution so that citizens shall know about the law of the land. The constitution is the supreme law of India. It took shape in our constant assembly and its architect is Dr. B. R. Ambedkar to whom this video is dedicated on his birth anniversary. Let's begin. Friends, a well-known American judge, Judge Learned Hand, has rightly pointed out that the constitution is not a charter of liberty granted by the power, but it is a charter of power granted by the liberty. Constitution is made by we the people of India, that is, by the liberty to power. Constitution is an organic or living document. It is very much related with the life of every person in India. It is the law of the land and rule of law. The constitution has long history of decades. India was ruled by Britishers. We all know about freedom movement and freedom fighters. Today, we will deal with legal aspects of the making of the constitution. The Government of India Act of 1858, 1919, 1935 and other statutes culminated in the making of the constitution. Therefore, before beginning with the topic, it is inevitable to see historical development of the constitution. For being a democratic and republic nation, it is necessary to have a separate constitution. This is possible by establishing constant assembly. This was thought of and brought by a renowned activist Manavendranath Roy. This idea was developed and came through under the cabinet mission plan of 1946. Accordingly, elections were conducted for 389 members constant assembly. After elections, interim government was formed on 2nd September 1946 and Dr. Sachidananda Sinha was appointed as interim president of the Constituent Assembly on 9 December 1946. After two days, that is on 11 December 1946, Dr. Rajendra Prasad and Shri E.H.C. Mukherjee appointed as president and vice president respectively of the Constituent Assembly. In this Constituent Assembly, on 13 December 1946, an objective resolution, that is objectives and purposes of the assembly and of the constitution was laid down by Jawaharlal Nehru. During this, much social confrontations has been arose which resulted in bloodshed and riots. On 3rd June 1947, due to riots, Lord Mountbatten, the then Governor General of India, has scrapped the cabinet mission plan and passed Indian Independence Act 1947, which divided India into two pieces. India got independence on 15th August 1947, but before that, Constituent Assembly has reassembled on 14th August 1947 with 299 members after partition. The prime function of Constituent Assembly is to frame the constitution and to evolve philosophy and principles for framing the constitution. In this regard, 22 committees have been appointed by Constituent Assembly. Following are the major committees set up by the Constituent Assembly. They are Drafting Committee, Union Power Committee, Union Constitution Committee, Provincial Committee and Advisory Committee on Fundamental Rights. Advisory Committee on Fundamental Rights, Minorities and Tribal and Excluded Areas appointed under Chairmanship of Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel. This committee has certain other subcommittees headed by other leaders. In order to draft the constitution, the constituent assembly has appointed Sir B. N. Rao as the constitutional advisor in formulating the Indian constitution. 
सर बेनेगल नरसिंह राव वॉज एन इंडियन सिविल सर्वंट ज्यूरिस्ट डिप्लोमैट एंड अ स्टेट्समन ही हैज बीन अवॉर्डेड विथ हाइएस्ट ब्रिटिश सिविलियन अवॉर्ड सर सर बी एन राव वॉज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर ड्राफ्टिंग द जनरल स्ट्रक्चर्स ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इन दिस रिगार्ड ही कंडक्टेड रिसर्च स्टडीड रिपोर्ट्स एंड कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ सेवरल अदर नेशंस ही कंसल्टेड विथ सेवरल स्कॉलर्स जजेस ऑफ यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स कैनडा आयरलैंड यूके एंड सो मेनी अदर कंट्रीज ही मेड जस्टिस फेलिक्स फ्रैंकफर्टर ऑफ अमेरिकन सुप्रीम कोर्ट एंड ही प्रिपेयर्ड ओरिजिनल ड्राफ्ट ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया इन फेब्रुवारी नाइनटीन फोर्टी एट आफ्टर फॉर्मुलेशन ऑफ ओरिजिनल ड्राफ्ट ऑन ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ ऑगस्ट नाइनटीन फोर्टी एट कॉन्स्टेंट असेंबली पास रिजोल्यूशन ऑफ सेटिंग अप द ड्राफ्टिंग कमिटी विथ एन ऑब्जेक्ट टू स्क्रूटिनाइज द ड्राफ्ट ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन प्रिपेड बाय सर बी एन राव एंड टू सबमिट द ड्राफ्ट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन टू द असेंबली फॉर इट्स कंसिडरेशन ऑन द सेकेंड डे ऑन थर्टी एथ ऑगस्ट नाइनटीन फोर्टी सेवन अ ड्राफ्टिंग कमिटी हैड इन इट्स फर्स्ट मीटिंग इलेक्टेड डॉक्टर बी आर आंबेडकर एज इट्स चेयरमैन एंड अदर मेंबर्स वेयर के एम मुंशी मोहम्मद सादुल्ला अल्लादी अय्यर गोपाल स्वामी अय्यंगार डी पी खेतान एंड बी एल मित्तर दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कमिटी हैविंग पीवोटल रोल टू प्ले इन ड्राफ्टिंग द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया द ड्राफ्टिंग कमिटी हैज स्क्रूटिनाइज द ड्राफ्ट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन प्रिपेयर बाय सर बी एन राव द कमिटी हैड मेड वेरियस चेंजेस डॉक्टर आंबेडकर हैज स्टडीड द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ अबाउट सिक्सटी कंट्रीज ही इज देयर फॉर रेकग्नाइज एज द फादर ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया अलॉन्ग विद द ओरिजिनल ड्राफ्ट एंड प्रपोजल्स ऑफ अदर कमिटीज द फर्स्ट ड्राफ्ट वॉज प्रिपेयर एंड पब्लिश्ड इन फेब्रुवारी नाइनटीन फोर्टी एट एंड पुट for the consideration of people of india near about for 8 months after considering the public opinion and suggestions second draft was published in october 1948 which was laid before the constituent assembly the first reading on 4th november 1948 was made by dr b r ambedkar thereafter second reading was took place clause by clause which conducted for over an year after three drafts and three readings The constitution was adopted by the constituent assembly on November 26, 1949. On 25 November 1949, in his concluding speech, Dr. Ambedkar has expressed that the credit shall be given not to me but to Sir B. N. Rao, who prepared a rough draft for the consideration of the constitution committee. Dr. Ambedkar has taken a relentless effort to make the constitution strong and beautiful. In its final session on 24 January 1950, two 84 members of the Constituent Assembly had signed two copies of the Constitution prepared in Hindi and English. Original Constitution is handwritten, and each page is decorated by artists from Shanti Niketan. It is beautifully designed and calligraphed, depicting Indian art and culture. It took. almost 5 years to make the constitution on 26 january 1950 it became the law of india the process of making of the constitution took 2 years 11 months and 18 days to finish as we know while making the constitution sir b n rao dr b r ambedkar and other members has studied other constitutions of other systems these have reflected in making the constitution of india the constitution of uk ireland australia france canada germany south africa japan soviet union government of india act 1935 had its influence on the constitution of india at the time of adoption the constitution has 22 parts divided into 395 articles and 8 schedules till january 2020 104 amendments have been made to the constitution the supreme court the final interpreter of the constitution in many cases has interpreted the constitution in order to mitigate the present situation at present the constitution has 24 parts and 459 articles here you can see these parts article wise in nutshell 
Also, the constitution has 12 schedules defining the government policies. Here, timeline of formation of the constitution of India is given. The development has been narrated in short for the better understanding of the learners. There are two important dates in the making of the constitution. First, 26 November 1949, the day on which the constitution has been adopted. Therefore, 26 November is celebrated as National Law Day or the Constitution Day. And another is 26 January 1950, the day on which the constitution came into effect and established Republic of India. Hence, 26 January is celebrated as Republic Day of India. Now the question is why 26 January is chosen? There is a story behind it. On 26 January 1929, the Declaration of Indian Independence, that is Purna Swaraj, was proclaimed by India. Hope you like the video and information presented herein. Jai Hind! Please do share, like and subscribe the channel for more information. Thank you. Have a nice day.